What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Joe Easy. Welcome to another edition of Joe Easy Delivers. My long time viewers, welcome back to my new viewers. Welcome to the channel. Okay, today is Tuesday, August 21st, and we officially got accepted to the new app, GoPuff. So GoPuff basically is like an app where I always thought it was just only alcohol delivery, but you could, I was doing the videos and the whole like thing, thingy majiggy where you have to answer questions and you could do actually food also. It's not just alcohol, but I think here in Miami, it's mainly alcohol stuff. So basically what you gotta do, you gotta go to the warehouse and you can't accept, you can't go online. Well, I think they're changing that, but because I don't know, I haven't tried to go online. I got a little bit scared, but supposedly, you can't go online until you actually go to the facility and you have to be there waiting. But from what I was reading in an email later, they said that they're changing that, that you don't have to be, that you don't have to be in the actual spot to wait for orders. But supposedly that's how it was before. You have to be in the, in the actual place, wait for orders there. You can't go anywhere else. So I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna accept orders going over there. And then once I'm there, I'm gonna just stay there. Supposedly, like according to the videos and all that stuff and how they were teaching me you have to stay there and they won't do anything to you like you you're there and then they won't tell you to leave or whatever the, the one in downtown miami or in winwood that's what it's called is like kind of like by, by downtown miami like it's like in the in the in the street so i don't know how the parking is over there if they let you stay there and wait but i'm not gonna go there today i'm gonna today i'm gonna go to the one in hialeah florida that is a city in Miami where all the Cubans are at. Or most of the, most most uh, most of the Cubans are, are not most of the Cubans, but a lot of Cubans go there, and I, I think that's how the Cuban community started over there in Hialeah, uh, also A Street, and in Hialeah too. So let's go over there, guys. And there's in Hialeah, there's always orders in Hialeah. There's Amazon Flex orders. I know this from somebody else. The Target orders are over there, and so I think I heard that North Miami is busy, which is. Hialeah is North Miami. I just don't go there because it's not the best place to go. Like it's not, you know, it's not the best place. So I, I just stay here where I'm at. And plus it's far away. I have to be driving a lot. So I don't want to be driving. But you know what? Let's go over there. See what happens with GoPub. We'll see what happens. There, there's also a thing called wait pay where you get paid to wait for orders. But supposedly all the hours are taken or whatever. So I'm going to have to go there and just wait for orders there. And then let's see what happens, guys. Let's not waste any more time on this intro because we're probably gonna get a lot new, a lot of new viewers to see how GoPuff is. So I apologize if you made it to the end of this intro and you're new to the channel. I talk a lot. You could just skip to the next chapter. I always start the ch uh, the next chapter where the, I start delivery because I talk. Sometimes I could talk. You see, I'm already talking right now. I'm already dragging this. Okay, forget it. Don't forget to smash that like button to help me blow up the YouTube world. If you like the video at the end and you want to watch video videos of me doing delivery, just subscribe on my people. Let's go do GoPuff and see what happens. Let's go. Oh my goodness, I forgot to tell you guys a lot more things about GoPuff. Okay, so you don't have to do any shopping. You go to the warehouse. It's a warehouse, you go there, and then once you get an order, you go and pick it up, and you drop it off, and you come back. There's no shopping required. You don't have to pick up, you know, no shopping. You don't have to know shopping, none of that stuff. And you just go there, pick it up, and drop it off. That's it, you know? And it's supposed to be always ready. It's supposed to be always ready. No waiting time, okay? All right, like food delivery, you know? So let's see what happens, let's do it. So fun fact, I just saw right now that the GoPuff, they do have the getting paid per minute. So, and I just saw it, I, I couldn't accept it because it was at from 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm gonna put it on the screen 10 to 12, but at 10 o'clock I have to go home, change as you can tell, because I put like a, there was water, like my water bottle was dripping and then there's water all over the, so I, and all my clothes got wet, is what I'm trying to say. So I have to change clothes, I have to change clothes. And then I took advantage and just started finishing editing the video there. So I finished editing and now, now is, is what we're gonna, well, we're gonna go have some lunch real quick. It's 10.52. All right, my lovely humans, let us have some lunch. What do we have here? First of all, pro tip, if you guys want to go have lunch in peace, go early when there's nobody here and the tables are clean. So we're watching the Conor McGregor singing majiggy and I'm watching that. I have nothing else to watch. Give me a show, guys. We have half a chicken right here. Do we have water? Yeah, straight up water. Look at this. Look, look how they do it here in South Florida. So that's how, that's how that is. We got some rice. 
I think I'm gonna go over there and ask for more beans, man, to be honest. But whatever, guys. Oh, I don't have my hot sauce, guys. I don't have hot sauce. So if I don't have beans or hot sauce, it's gonna be a, a terrible meal, man. I'm telling you. All right, guys, let's just eat. Let's go. All right, my people. Let's start the journey to the facility, the warehouse. It is 20 miles away. There's another one that's closer, but I'd rather go to this one because I kept getting dings the whole day yesterday like um on this specific location so this seems like the busiest location i don't want to go to the one here so let's go over there ideally i would like to accept orders driving there but we're gonna have to drive 20 dead miles because i want to go straight there it's already getting late so let's go get it all right according to the gps we made it it should be here if the gps didn't lie to us it should be here to the left somewhere what's the number 35 what 35 something thing is this one here okay i'm gonna huh oh it's right here look it's right there guys it is right there so we just gotta park is there anybody waiting there's nobody waiting all right let's get online though i think there's a guy i think there's a guy right there waiting in that car i don't want to show too much i don't want that guy to be like hey why is this guy recording me but it's here on the left so this is a warehouse all right let's go let's go get it all right guys so i got the first order already it's already a bad one five dollars 33 cents two deliveries 37 minutes 7.8 miles offers expires customer tips are always added after drop off customer tip is average two to five you know what let's uh let's accept that i want to see i just want to see how it is i accepted it you know what guys let's actually track the mileage too it says 24 let's uh i gotta put that i gotta make sure i put that on my on my app on the giga app go download the app Okay, 24, but let's put it to zero and let's let's track the miles. Okay, so the thing is IVOM, three components, one contains alcohol, and that's pretty much how it is. Uh, that's how it works. So I'm gonna start the pickup. Let's go inside. All right, so that's the place. It's called GoPuff. Let me click on the app. It says start pickup. Would you like to access your camera? Yeah, sure. Oh, but I have to, hold on. I have to scan some stuff. So let's just go in. Hey, how you doing? It's for IVOM and AROS. Okay. IVOM. Alright, so I gotta scan this, I guess. And, uh... right, so that's what it looks like, guys. So, so it is drinks. It's not just alcohol. It's like cold stuff. It's not bad. And they have like a little cart here, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna have to. I could just take it with my hands, but. I'm gonna start putting this in my car. Oh, the other one's right there. I think I could just take it. I'm just gonna take it, guys. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so that one guy that was waiting for orders was probably like, man, why, why is this kid getting that, that crappy order? Because it's probably a crappy order, $5 for a seven mile. I, I just don't know how it works. I want to see if the tips are, because uh, it says, oh, you're going to get a tip later. You'll see it later. I don't know, but let's see. Hello. Hey there. Thanks. Yeah. Oh. oh, you think I scanned that? Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. It's first time I do GoPuff, it's a new app. Yeah. Okay, that one's good. Got it? Yeah, the other two. Perfect. Thank you Thanks so much. So much. Have a good one. Alright, so this time I have to make sure I scan the thing real quick. So I don't make the same mistake as last time. Alright, so this is a non-contact delivery, so I just have to... That's it, take a delivery photo. Easy as that. Take a photo so customers can relocate their order. Probably the alcohol photos must be in the photo. Must have a clear view of the spot where you left it. Photo can be blurred. Yo! We got tips from two people. Okay. So there could be one of two things. The first thing could be that. They are like DoorDash, DoorDash, when they offer something new or when you're a new driver or something new happens, they give you all the good orders, all the good tips. And then after a week or two, you get all the, all the, all the crappy ones. It could be that or it could be that it is possible 
that customers on here tip and since it's like shipped where they don't really like a lot of people won't take it because you won't see the base pay i know it's gambling a lot it's a lot of gambling what well, could make sense if they do this look i'll tell you guys right now well i have to cross the street but let me tell you right now real quick if i could get stacks like three four or five different orders and then like three out of the five tip or even two out of the five and then the pay is actually pretty decent that could average out to some good earnings i don't know if i get more than two orders at a time though hopefully i could get more two three or four let's go back accept the next order and then we will continue investigating so there is a thingy where you could get from an, a scheduled block from three to eight that you could get paid for waiting for the orders i don't know if i want to do it today it's three to eight it's three to eight man if it was any other day i'll probably do it but i don't know man should i do it should i do it for the for the footage thing is that oh, the tra i'm scared of traffic man i'm scared of traffic i don't know especially back to school traffic let me see all right we are back to our destination go buff let's go wait so when we first got here and we went online we got an order right away super quick so maybe we got lucky we were driving back and i never i haven't gotten another offer even coming back here supposedly you could get offers on the way back and i haven't got anything yet so maybe i just got lucky the first time let's see what happened that other guy that was waiting he's not here anymore so he probably got another order so let's see how this one is let's see how long it's gonna take us to wait it's 103 p.m all right my people the time is one o'clock all right so that car right there is a jeep if you guys could see it and he i think he's there waiting in the go puff in the go puff thing and i'm like that's a lot of gas that car uses no that, that, that probably means that you know maybe go puff is a good gig if you could pay for gas you know what i'm saying all right cool all right guys i declined an order i didn't want to do it because it was too it was too much of a risk it was three dollars i'm gonna put on the screen three dollars and 49 cents 4.7 miles you know it could be a tip could not be a tip i did the first one because it was my first one i was like bro i'm just gonna do it if this one it has to be at least two orders what what if you know if one order doesn't tip at least the other one does if both orders don't tip then okay that's terrible luck but man i don't want to i didn't want to do three dollars man let's just wait for another one see if we get another one. Oh, i think the other guy got it the guy in the in the in the jeep i don't know if you guys can see it but yeah yeah he got it pretty quick too so he got it man should i have gotten it guys did i mess up all right so i don't know if you guys can see there but they're accepting a delivery that's the gopuff warehouse is a bunch of ah, it looks like a just any regular warehouse with bins and stuff like that so they're getting a, a package now all right guys the time is 1 51 p.m and we accepted something it was like four dollars 5.9 miles or something like that man but i just want to do something get an, at least one more order for this is what i'm gonna do get one more order for the footage after that i'm gonna multi-app and that's it i'll come back i'll come back but I'll, I'll, I'm going to turn on all the apps. And I'm in Hialeah, so maybe I get some good Hialeah orders. But um, but that's what I'm going to do, guys. That is it. At least I'm going to get two orders under the book for this video. Man, let's go. All right, we're here already. Let me actually take a picture of this for the uh, for the thumbnail. Take a picture of it for the thumbnail real quick. And we can do... Low is for I B A N. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, we got it. Let's go deliver. So I gotta go 5.9 miles, 17 minutes, man. And then GoPub pays me like four dollars. So I'm like, man, okay, 17 minutes. Why can't they pay me? I guess is that twenty dollars an hour if you average it out five times? 
by times four is twenty, so the average would be like nineteen dollars an hour, I guess, not including tips. Bye guys. Okay, bye. All right, my people, nineteen miles. I am not gonna accept any more of these deliveries. We're done. Remember that, nineteen miles. I'll get with you guys on the final numbers and thoughts. Yo, guys. Yo, you're not gonna believe it, bro. I was supposed to end this video, but I'm gonna tell you guys right now. I just accepted an Uber Eats package because I just took the. I, okay, I had to. I kept getting up north, so that last GoPuff order took me up north, and then I did a McDonald's order, five dollars for two miles, and then I got a thirty-one dollar order Uber Eats. It's a package going thirty miles. Thirty miles going that exactly back to where I was in my you know my usual spot. And I accept it. I'm like, bro, I'm just, like, I'm just gonna accept it. Get the thirty-one dollars, drive back for thirty-one bucks. Oh my goodness! Wow, it, it couldn't have been any more convenient. I love it. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna start delivery. Fifty-two minutes, twenty-nine miles for thirty-one dollars, bro. It's a lot of miles, but I'm going back to my to my hood. So let's go, guys. It's only three twenty-six. It's not even four o'clock yet, and look at the traffic already. Look at the traffic already. What's going on, South Florida? People are supposed to leave the office at four, at five. And okay, maybe you have some people leaving at four. But 3.30, 3.30. I'm still doing the 30 mile order. That's so crazy, guys. What's going on? Come on, 3.30. That is, I'm gonna have to start working at five in the morning. Alright ladies and gentlemen, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. Alright, this is how much we made on GoPuff guys. We made $19.56. It says here three deliveries. Two hours and 70 2.73 hours, nine dollars and ninety-nine cents in tips, but that was for the first order. So that's uh what we did. The base pay was nine dollars and fifty-seven cents and then nine dollars and ninety-nine cent tips in tips. And that is it, guys. Now, do I recommend GoPuff? GoPuff is just like another, it's like a ship, but you don't have to basically do any shopping. So, and, but the only thing with shipping is that people are now getting their preferred shoppers. You can't get preferred in GoPuff. So I don't know if GoPuff is gonna be worth it, guys. Unless you're multi-apping, and unless maybe if you live, cause I live far from that place. I mean, I'm gonna go back all the way over there just for that. Unless, until I do the, the accepting orders in Hialeah or in North Miami, like the whole day, there's no point of me going over there, you know what I'm saying? But if you live there, maybe you could probably get, you know, turn it on and accept orders there, but accept only good orders. I'm sure maybe the price goes up a little bit more, but I'm not sure because it's Tuesday. It was like one o'clock when I was there, maybe at nighttime or in the weekend, the pay starts going up and it'll be more worth it. Uh, and if they start stack, they gotta stack orders as well, guys. To be delivering, like I delivered that last order, one uh, six miles for one customer, no tip, four dollars. Like, I mean, that's gambling with our money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know, man. I I wouldn't recommend doing it by itself, guys. The wait, how about the weight pay? Would you guys do the weight pay? It's you know, third, it was like what, 18 cents per minute. I kind of did the math. If you wait there for half an hour, that's like five bucks. If you're there for half an hour, don't do anything, five bucks, and then you get another, and you get an order, maybe you might get a nice banger like the $15 order that I got. I'm not sure, but I mean, that depends on every person. If you think it's worth it, if it's slow enough to where you, you know, it's good to do it there, then do it, I guess. I don't know, man, but I'm not, I don't see that as a, like a long-term strategy, you know? But let me let me show you guys the the Uber Eats in, that I did in the end. So the Uber Eats order that I did, it took me an hour and three minutes, twenty six point six miles. The fare was thirty one dollars and ninety eight cents, thirty one dollars eighty six cents, and then the I got a wait time, pickup time for twelve cents. They pay you twenty three minutes per twenty three dollars twenty three cents per minute for waiting. This is Uber Eats. I didn't know that they do that. I guess they do that for packages when you're waiting for a a package and not a food delivery. So that's different. So I ended up getting paid. I got some tolls, $2 in tolls, $34. And that is pretty much it, guys. If you made it to the end of this uh, 
this first shift as a, and maybe last shift. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. Of Gold Puff. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button to help me grow from the YouTube world. And if you like this video and you want to watch future videos, please do that. If you just subscribe to my people, have a good day. Have a good year. Have a good. It's your boy Juicy. Let's go, baby.